Christina, and I am in Florida right now. I am filming a surprise shoot with Thoughtfully Magazine, and I'm only here for 36 hours. I'm actually gonna be headed to the airport in just a little bit, and I'll be headed back to Texas so that I can be there for Saturday Co-op. And since I've been in Florida, I've been having an amazing time collaborating on this awesome project that you're gonna see in the future. And I've been spending a little bit of time in the sun on this absolutely gorgeous beach. And I have been talking with a lot of the cool people here. And one of the most frequently asked questions that I've been getting here is, how is your hair so long? And when is the last time that you cut it? So I thought it would be kind of cool since I'm out here in the sun. Uh, and I thought it would be cool to talk to you about how long my hair is and why I haven't cut it in seven years. That's pretty crazy, right? Like, I haven't cut my hair in seven years. And I know all of you on the other end are maybe thinking like, oh my god, well maybe her hair is super unhealthy, does she have split ends, what does she do to take care of her hair? And I'm definitely going to be doing a hair care video for you in the future. But for right now, I really wanted to tell you why I haven't cut my hair in seven years because it's kind of a cool story and it means a lot to me. So I don't really ever apply heat to my hair. I wash it in a very particular and special way. I promise I'm gonna make a video for you about this next. And for those of you who know me really well know that I call my hair Mufasa because she has a mind of her own and sometimes she's crazy and sometimes she's everywhere and sometimes she, she kind of behaves. Right now she's just like sweaty with a mix of salt water in her. <laughs> Which is kind of funny, kind of cool. Okay, so the story is, is about seven years ago when I was at co-op at Rockley Organic in Houston, I had a Cherokee Indian come up to me. And, and I'm not talking about like an Indian from India, I mean like an actual Native American Indian, a chief of one of the tribes or one of an existing tribes that was in the area at the time. And he came by co-op and he had hair literally all the way down to his butt. And he started talking to me and telling me that all of the chiefs in the tribes have long hair because they believe that their power is stored in their hair. This is why many Native American men have super, super long, beautiful hair. And it's a sign of power. Their power is stored in their hair and it's well respected. And I had really short hair at the time. My hair was literally like right here from like a freak cutting accident. Don't ask me about that. It's a really long story as well. Totally off topic from this. Um, but he looked at my hair and he touched it and he pointed at it and he said, don't cut your hair. Your power is in your hair. And I was just kind of like giggling and I was like, all right, don't, don't cut my hair. And he's like, it's connected to you. It's a part of you, you know? And over time, it's like all of these experiences and the proteins that form from your hair, it's like, it's basically just a bunch of experiences that have grown from you. I know that sounds kind of hippie and whatnot, but I went home and I thought a lot about it. Like, our hair is a part of us in so many different ways. It carries experiences and memories with each of us. And literally like a week later, the movie Avatar came out and I don't know if you guys remember this, but in the movie, they would connect their hair to like trees and horses and flying birds, and they called it the bond, right? And I just thought it was the coolest thing ever because when I saw that, I was like, I wanna have that bond. I wanna be connected with earth and nature and with myself, and I wanna feel like I'm coming into my own power. The chief of the tribe had told me not to cut my hair and that if I was going to trim it, that I should trim it on very special occasions, like full moons or my birthday, and to only cut it like just millimeters of a centimeter, or like less than an inch. So I've literally only trimmed my hair maybe three times in seven years, and each time it's maybe been like very minimal. Do I have split ends? No, my hair is actually extremely healthy. I use my fully raw body butter on it, I put coconut oil on it. Every single method that I use to shampoo or moisturize my hair is extremely natural, it's organic. I take really good care of my hair, but I also just let her free and let her do her thing. Um, kinda like I'm doing right now. My hair is literally down to my butt. It's longer than the length of my arm. It's pretty long. <laughs> So after that week of meeting the Cherokee Indian and seeing Avatar, I decided that I wasn't going to cut my hair for a while, and that while ended up turning into seven years. I can't say that I'm not going to cut my hair for the rest of my life, because I may, 
but right now I'm just interested in trimming it and letting it grow and be full and beautiful because I feel like it's also an expression of me, Christina. You know, I, I see my grandmother's hair coming out of me when I look at it sometimes. I see, you know, my Ecuadorian blood, I see my Lebanese blood, and um, it's just become a part of me. So that's the story of why I have not cut my hair in seven years. All that being said, I'm glad that you decided to watch this video and know that story. <laughs> I'm gonna be headed back to Texas tonight. For those of you who wanna know, here's a little bit more of what I've been doing in Florida since I've been here. Just a sneak peek that you guys will be able to see later. I am actually in Florida right now on set for Thoughtfully Magazine. I'm so excited about this. I'm having a super amazing time already even though I've only been here for like five hours. I woke up at 4 a.m. to get on a flight here and I was literally just in LA a few days ago. We're gonna check out some cool outfits. We're gonna go to the beach. We're gonna have fun. Are you ready? Let's go. Okay, so we're on set. They have me in a bikini right now. It's actually a really cute bikini. But um, so we have the team here of Thoughtfully Magazine. Hello, Hi. this is Brandy. Hi everyone. She's the editor in chief of the magazine. Can you tell us a little bit about your awesome magazine? Yes, so Thoughtfully is a quarterly wellness publication and it is to for all those um, who want to be inspired to live thoughtfully, live more healthy, all that good stuff. Um, we're complete lifestyle. And this is something, wellness and health is something that I completely 100% support, especially when it's geared towards women to help them feel confident and more beautiful in their skin. So that's what we're trying to do here. It is so beautiful out here. I love it on set. And I'm kind of getting hungry, maybe a little later. We'll see. All right, on to the next one. All right, you guys, so we just finished an amazing shoot on this incredible beach on the sunset. It has been insane, and I'm so grateful to have this opportunity to do this. And we're pretty hungry right now because we have been shooting all day. So now we're gonna go get dinner at a raw vegan restaurant here in Florida, and it's gonna be delicious. In the meantime, oh my gosh, just enjoy a little bit more of this amazing water behind me. Can you see this? It does not get more beautiful than that. Oh my gosh. I'm only here for one day more, so I'm gonna be eating fruit on the beach all day tomorrow. We're gonna go to yoga, have a great dinner. Can't wait to share with you more. Let's go. So we just found this absolutely adorable raw vegan restaurant in an Airstream called Raw and Juicy. It is so cute. And me and Brandy right now um, are having a raw vegan dinner. I know it's not focusing, but I got this drink called the Love Bomb or a Chlorophyll Love Bomb. It's basically a ton of greens with lime and ginger. It is so good. And I got some raw vegan spring rolls. Yum. So now we're just gonna sit out here, listen to music, and eat up. Okay. For those of you following my vlogs, you will see or you will have seen that I am traveling a lot right now. I was literally just in LA earlier this week, I'm in Florida right now, and I'm gonna be in San Francisco and in San Diego next for my book tour. And I would love to meet you. If you haven't already bought your tickets for the events, buy your tickets. I'm gonna be adding in five cities pretty shortly, 
We're gonna be adding in Miami, New Orleans, Denver, Chicago, and Los Angeles, so keep an eye on the events page for that. And I'm so excited that you guys have decided to watch this video about why I chose to grow my hair long. If you liked it, please give this video a thumbs up and comment below and let me know what you think. If you guys need more tips, tricks, recipes, or inspiration on how to go fully raw, please subscribe here to Fully Raw Christina as we have an amazing time getting healthy together. If you guys want to follow me daily, you can also find me on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter, all at Fully Raw Christina. All right, you guys, I'm about to go and jump in this amazing ocean. And I hope that you guys get to go and do the same. If you're buying ocean, jump in your ocean. Can't wait to see you in my next video, and I'm sending you all my hugs and my love. Bye. I got this feeling rising.